Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education. I'm also a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, I will be going over metric, weight, and volume conversion. And all this means, that's just a fancy way of saying, how do I convert things from grams to milligrams? How do I convert things from liters to milliliters? This is especially helpful if you're in nursing school and you have to do dosage calculation problems and you're not really sure where to start. Um, math was never my forte growing up, so this video is going to be super, super simple and broken down so that those of you that are struggling will understand it. Before we get started though, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. So let's get started. Metric weight volume conversion. When we talk about grams, we're talking about mass or weight. And a lot of pills will come in the form of milligrams. And when we're talking about volume, so we're giving some kind of, whether it's a syringe or a liquid solution, a lot of times we are measuring it in milliliters. So it will be in the volume form. And volume, you can measure volume, solid, liquid, or gas, but primarily in medicine, we're measuring liquids. And again, in medicine, we usually give milligrams because grams would just be too large. Every once in a while, you will see a few medications in grams. So I made this little mnemonic or memorization device and whatever helps you remember it. So I'm going to use, for the sake of that this is kilograms and this is grams, this is going to be King Arthur and this is Guinevere, right? So King Arthur for K, Guinevere for G. And then in the novel, in the King Arthur novel, they did not have two children. But again, this is purely for the sake of memorization. So one kilogram is a thousand grams. And again, I'll break this down even further. But the way that it works, if you're moving down, you multiply by a thousand or you just move the decimal point three places. The reason why this is happening is think of if you have one big bowl and a smaller bowl, it's going to take more of the smaller bowls to fill the larger bowl. Or you have, if you want to have the same amount as you have in the large bowl, you have to have more smaller bowls filled up. And that's all that's happening. So when you're converting mathematical equations in nursing or whatever you're doing, you have to find the equivalent. This is equal to this, right? If you need to convert between measurements. So the kilogram, I put the king here because, so for the sake of this, just think of men as being larger in general and men do tend to be larger. So we have King Arthur, he's the largest unit of measurement. Then we have uh, Queen Guinevere for G, Guinevere. So she's not as big as King Arthur, but she's still big. Then we have, um, and again, I made this up. This isn't accurate representation of the novel. But then we have Millie. And Millie is King Arthur and Guinevere's daughter. So Millie is uh, smaller than the Grams, than Guinevere. But she's still, you know, she's, so it goes King Arthur, Guinevere, milligrams, right, Millie. And then the smallest unit is micrograms. We have the boy, the boy's name is Mickey, and Mickey is the tiniest measurement in this series. Of course, there's a few others. There are other units of metric weight, but these are the ones that primarily we use in nursing. So if you know how to convert between these, you will be fine. Like I said, there are other ones, but they're not really applicable, so I will not be covering them. So if you're going down the steps, the number is going to be larger, right? Because you need more of something to equal to the larger unit of measurement. But if you're going from down to up, so if you're going from a measurement like milligrams to grams or grams to kilograms, the number is going to look smaller because you're going in the larger direction. So it's going to take just one large bowl to make up the other ones that you had. So if you move up, you move the decimal three spots to the left. If you move down, you move the decimals three spots to the right, right? If you go, follow the arrows. If you're going down, you move one, two, three to the right. If you're going up to the left, one, two, three. So here's some practice problems. You can pause the video uh, to see if you get these right. I put the little saying here, two grams is equal to how many milligrams? 0.5 milligrams is equal to how many grams? Now it's important to note here that we have a zero in the front, 
But when you have a decimal point, you don't have a trailing zero because that could create some confusion. Someone could accidentally read 50 milligrams versus 0.5 milligrams. So when you're writing an answer to something, never put a trailing zero. Don't use a trailing zero in nursing. Uh, one gram is equal to how many milligrams? One milligram is equal to how many micrograms? And 500 milligrams is equal to how many grams? Insert Jeopardy music here. All right, so let me work one of these out. Whoa, I almost dropped my mic. Let me work one of these out for you. We have two grams. If you don't see a decimal, there is a, there's always a decimal after the number. Which way are we moving? We're going down that right direction. We're going from Guinevere to, to milligrams, right? We're going from grams to milligrams. So Guinevere is larger than milli. These numbers get larger because they're smaller units of measurement. So we have a decimal here and we're going to move it three places because it's just like multiplying by a thousand, but instead of multiplying by a thousand, it's just easier to think of it as moving the decimal three places. So one, two, three. And then all you do is you add a zero in these little pockets here. This becomes a comma and it's 2000 milligrams. Okay, next one is 0.5 milligrams to grams. So we have milli here and we're gonna move up in this direction. So we're moving up. And if we're moving up, the numbers get smaller. Right. We have 0.5 milligrams, how many grams will that be? Okay, we're moving this to the left. One, two, three. Here's the new decimal point. We add a zero, a zero, a zero. It becomes 0 0.0005 grams. One gram, again, we're moving down to milligrams. So the decimals here, decimals right here, one, two, three, a thousand milligrams. One milligram to micrograms, we're moving down. We're gonna move the decimal to the right. Decimal is here, decimal is here. One, two, three, then it becomes micrograms. 500 milligrams to grams, so we're moving up to here, and we're going up, so we're going to get, it's gonna get smaller right here. We're moving at one, two, three, and the 0.5 should have a zero in front of it. It should be 0 0.5 grams, again, to avoid confusion. We have a zero, how you see it here, we do a zero in front, but we don't have a trailing zero. One liter equals a thousand milliliters. Again, the liter is the big kahuna, just how uh, the king, King Arthur was the big kahuna. Liter is a, is a larger unit of measurement than milliliters. Milliliters is smaller. Anytime that you see a syringe, a lot of times that is in milliliters. So how many milliliters are in that? So you need to know a thousand milliliters, you're, doing, you're moving down, right? Again, this would have a decimal here, one, two, three, a thousand mLs. Practice questions, 2,400 mLs equals how many liters? 250 milliliters equals how many liters? 1.6 liters equals how many milliliters? So by now, you are experts, right? So you know that liters is a larger unit of measurement. So we're moving from small to large. So we're going to go up this way. So we're going to be dividing by a thousand or moving the decimal three places. Decimal is here. One, two, three, 2.4 liters. Then we're moving from milliliters again to the left. So one, two, three, 0 0.25 liters. We're multiplying by a thousand. So one, two, three, 1,600 milliliters. Let's check our answers. Yay, 2,400 milliliters is the same thing as 2.4 mLs. 250 milliliters is equal to 0 0.25 liters and 1.6 liters is equal to 1,600 milliliters. Good job, I'm sure you got that right. If you want a free copy of this PowerPoint, make sure that you subscribe, if you like this video, turn on the notification bell, then email nursingwithprofessorb at gmail.com and I will send you a copy of this PowerPoint. Let me know if this helped in the comment below. I, I really hope that I helped clarify versus confuse you. Au revoir, sayonara. Mm -hmm.